It's got a rubbish game. It wasn't, I promise you, it wasn't a rubbish game. <laughs> loads of the children and, and adults as well, I think. I saw loads yeah. of adults participating in this. So today the University of East London came to the library to interact with our local community and take our recycling game that we developed for the UEL Winter Fair uh, out into the community. So we've been educating kids and adults uh, here at the library and other libraries all across Newham Council um, about what to do with their rubbish, what bin to put things in. It's been interesting because when we played this game at UEL, I think there were a few things that people tended to get wrong um, because they thought they were doing the right thing by putting their coffee cup in their recycling bin, uh, even though it has to go in the general waste bin. And it's been fun to see that the issues are kind of the same no matter where you go, so certain things that people really got wrong at UEL, it's kind of the same out here. So Pringles cans need to go in the general waste bin, the coffee cups need to go in the general waste bin, um, wrapping paper that has like metallic shiny bits on it needs to go in the general waste bin, and those are all things that people tend to get wrong across generations. So yeah, so it seems like the problems are kind of the same no matter where you go. If someone doesn't know where to put an item after they're done with it. It might seem counterintuitive. You might want to put it in the recycling bin because you think you're doing the right thing, but actually it's better to put it in the general waste bin because then if you're wrong, it won't contaminate the recycling. Um, and when that happens, a whole bag of recycling can end up going to the general waste when it doesn't have to just because of that one wrong item. So as we say, when in doubt, throw it out. Overall, it seemed as though people walked away having a much more understanding of what to do with the rubbish because it's not something that we talk about or discuss um, often. You know, we get the recycling bins at home and we sort of think, all right, yeah, it's there, but you don't really think about it, I don't think. So I hope that today goes some way in um, sort of reviving that, that recycling passion. Here in the library, we keep a lot of the paper for scrap, we get books delivered and it comes with a lot of paper, a lot, a lot of paper. But we use that um, and we give it back out to the children. They can use it for their arts and crafts. They can use it to draw on. Um, and so we're keeping that going. And hopefully the same in that process, we're also educating them you know, on waste and recycling. It was really, really nice. I was really surprised. It was really nice to meet your uh, team. Even adults learned a lot of things from your game and kids are absolutely excited. Uh, about this game and they really definitely learned a lot of things as well. So boxes which have food stains, yeah, I learned that uh, you can't put them in recycling bin before we used to put that in our home in recycling bin, but now I learned that, that you should put in general waste. I think the one that shocked me was the hair extensions. Yeah, definitely. I, did, I, I didn't know that you can dispose of it like that, so. The general waste, I would have thought, because um, I don't know, what it's made up of generally. Um, but I would have thought, okay, you have to recycle that. Maybe it has plastics in it or something. But yeah, so I learned that. We need to have more of these interactions. It's important um, that we're able to, to have these relationships and, and maintain them. Um, I say this as a new staff member and also as an ex-UEL um, student many years ago. <laughs> okay, many, many years ago. So no, it, it's, it's important for... Um, the, the generations as well. Um, obviously, the library is a space where you've got um, old and young meeting together. So to be able to sort of have an organisation like UEL in in the mix as well, it just opens up other avenues. You know, that our young people can. I bet loads of them don't know, you know, that we do work with um, the educational organisations such as yourselves. You know, across these issues.